Hello beautiful Aries. I hope you're doing amazing. This is your weekly reading for November 5th through 11th. So let's see what spirit has for us during this time. Okay, Aries. Eight of Wands, Four of Pentacles in Reverse, Eight of Swords in Reverse, Nine of Pentacles in Reverse, Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands in Reverse. On the bottom of the deck we have the Three of Swords and the World card. It feels to me as though, Aries, you're hanging on an idea. Um, an idea that something will get better or that something will happen to better your situation or your state of mind, right? So you can put something behind you so you can finally end something. You feel like you want to end this cycle and move on to something new. It feels like you want something better. I'm going to zoom in. I don't want any... I don't want you to be like, oh, why is it suddenly moving? Okay, there we go. So you're ready to put something to an end. There's a lot of communication about something that you're not happy in. Something that has been maybe weighing on you. It's not something that you want. Okay, It's not something that is good for you and you, want, you would like it to get better so you can have a more stable life or a stable ideal situation so there's lots of communication about that um, or something that is affecting that and you're dealing with this the best you can you're trying to hold on to what it is you do have so you don't lose everything all at once I see you end up giving in um, for a better state of mind. It feels like to me the fight isn't really worth it when you think about it. And you're changing your way of thought or changing how you feel about things. But things aren't as stable as you would have liked them to be. Even though you gave in or even though you're trying harder, it's like you want someone to see that. This week doesn't look like a conclusion to this. It's almost like you won a little victory, but you still have a ways to go. It's not perfect at all by any means. Be careful about Really talking yourself into holding on to things that don't really help you in the long run. It almost feels like right now it's something that you may really want, but it's not really for you. You're definitely letting go a little bit of yourself and giving in to something. That is a big theme here. Be careful of holding on to things too tightly and not seeing what you need to see. But I feel like you have a good roundabout idea, Aries, this week. Your mindset is very good this week, even though what's happening. I feel like there may be a little blow up, but then it gets better. It gets rectified, but it's still not as perfect as you would like it to be. You're still moving towards healing or making a situation better, um, putting a relationship back together. But you would just like it to be over. <laughs> it's like you would just like it to be done at this point. Okay, 
let's go with an angel guidance card Aries for you to meditate on this week for you to focus on this week see only love look past the seeming errors mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person including yourself your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways mm. this is you coming out of yourself definitely coming out of yourself and either releasing things or put, it's like putting yourself on as a sacrificial lamb to get things moving even though it's not what you would like it to be but it's because you see positivity you see something worth holding on to within this situation you're trying a different perspective by coming out of your own mind or coming out of your way to try something different to see it from a different angle and you're doing this with love and understanding and a clear heart all right so thank you so much for listening and i will see you next week i love you all guys so much love and light bye bye